Hello peeps and welcome back to Project Hospital. Welcome back to Hospital Services DLC. Where actually we're going to be building quite a lot of the DLC um, things today. I'm very excited um, to be finally getting to this building. This will mark the building of the last uh, bits that this hospital currently doesn't have before the new DLC comes out um, in hopefully a few weeks um, for infectious diseases, which I'm looking forward to adding to this hospital. Um, but since um changing the insurance companies and that of course so the amount of patients we get each day um has fallen a bit and uh, it's building up it's getting there but um i have been having money troubles i've been having to do a lot of emergencies um and so having a pharmacy go in and a gift shop will be really excellent for just adding a little bit more income to the hospital so i'm excited for that plus i do get a lot of there's not enough space in the lounges um thing happening quite a lot uh which i plan to also fix today as well as putting in the gift shop because of course all of my ward patients are always upset that they don't get gifts um so that's what we're going to be doing in fact i think today we're probably going to start um with sorting out um the lounges for the wards where are they going to be um breaking out to because of course all of my wards do have a small lounge area um but it's not big enough it's not enough so what what is my plan well we're going to ignore internal medicine down here for the moment i have a different plan for that one which we'll see later um but up here we have the orthopedy department and we have the cardiology department now i always thought that these corridors look a little bland just 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 a little bland you know and that they could do with a bit of jazzing up um not gonna go nuts with this if i'm honest um it's nothing crazy but this is where we're going to um allow for additional uh, seating so let's see here i think we're going to put the cardiology one here um yeah and then on the other side let's select orthopedy uh we are going to put the orthopedy lounge here like this um and what i'm thinking um about doing um is making it so that this is still wall before we head into glass because uh, I, I i ended up changing this tool so that i could have uh some directional things going on and these uh cafeteria menus i actually also uh, pretend are extra signage of where things are around the hospital there's some really great mods actually for some um great signage to go around your hospitals but of course because i do plan to put this onto the workshop uh, i'm very keen to keep it vanilla so that it's more accessible for more people to download um but yeah if i wasn't going to be uploading it to the workshop or i wasn't worried about how many people uh could easily uh, get a hold of it i would probably be using some of these mods i'm certainly going to put um a list together of the mods that um i really like and would be using in my hospital uh if uh, if i wasn't uh concentrate on other things so yes uh so i might make it so that this wall matches on the other side and we'll probably do something similar over here as well so that there's a little less glass um and it means of course that um we can uh let's see here put in uh these chairs now we're probably going to keep them all uh blue or because they're out in the corridor we could change them to green to be a little bit more in line with the hospital teal color because i can't make these teal but i can make them green um and i'm not going to want i don't think say if i put one of these here i don't think i'm going to want one exactly you know it might be better to to alternate them uh all the way down um so i'm going to do this uh for here and i'm also going to do it for these two departments uh down here so here we are i have done them both um so that's four wards with more chairs now to sit at and um, you can see i've extended the brick around here and what i've also done is i've added 
uh, these bits um, and I've made it so that the corridors you can see here include one lot of um, uh, drinks and vending machines and stuff like that. Um, I have also arranged janitors to clean these corridors however um, I, I'm using janitors I've also got sort of cleaning these areas. Um, the janitors are things that I tweak over time so I'm not sure how effective they're going to be at being able to clean this area as well. Um, I guess I, I will just see. I just sort of tweak them as and when I need to at the moment. Uh, they've not had masses of my attention. So there we are. We've extended the lounge for four of the wards. So you're probably wondering well what are you going to do with internal medicine? Well um, near the beginning of the series I talked about this row of shops and thought that it would be nice to have a row of shops here and felt that two wasn't really enough to be considered a row. <laughs> so I'm going to make another cafe here, another cafeteria. Um, and we're going to pretend that it is like a publicly used one. And I thought one of the things that could be inside this sort of faux caf is another lounge for internal medicine so that we do see patients and customers coming into here as well as staff because I will make some of it you know also cafeteria with those sorts of tables as well um, so we'll have different types of tables and chairs in here and hopefully a mixture of people actually using the space so when we come to do the calf near the end um, we will try and work that out um, now uh, let's start with the gift shop actually let's start with the gift shop um, you can see I've already uh, roughly marked uh, which uh, place of business I want in each zone, but they are just empty boxes for the moment, whereas I am keen to make these fairly realistic. Um, first of all, let's... Um, oh, hang on a minute. I've, I've done these the wrong way around. I've instantly done these the wrong way around. Look at that. <laughs> so let's get rid of this. So. Um, it's come into our administrative departments, right? This will be pharmacy. Let's just earmark that. This is going to be our gift shop. So what's the absolute minimum we need to make a gift shop work? Well, it says here that we need two of these balloons, souvenirs for hospital visitors. It says that we have to have at least two of these. Oh, and then that is it. <laughs> okay. All oh, right. So it's very, very simple. So any two of these displays whether it and and we can do like one flowers and one t-shirts and that will register it okay cool and then we have to have a pc i guess this is where um the person serving at the counter will work so it's recommended reception counters and this new one that came uh, for the pharmacy um as well the, these are these are pretty good um no we can see there it's got um, consultation advice uh, written on it, uh, prescription drop off, that one says. Um, and then we've got like these corner ones and we can change their colours as well, which is really nice. So I think I will use these over the ones that we're using at reception, just so that we're using um, more items. Uh, what else have we got? So in terms of gifts, I like that we've got Project Hospital t-shirts <laughs> in a range of colours. Uh, flowers and plants look we've got babby ones look babby ones that we have around the hospital that's nice um we have magazines as well um and we have a fresh fruit stand i like that okay and then of course the balloons that we looked at near the beginning so there we are so these are all the different types of things that we can have in the shop uh which is uh, actually pretty cool um we know we're going to need a counter i haven't decided on the color yet but we know we're going to need a counter we're going to need a pc and we're going to need a chair with that which i'm probably just going to go with a stool and now if we come into here we can actually employ somebody and you can see here it's got the janitor icon however um, you're going to want a janitor who is trained in gift shop vendor. Gift shop vendors sell gifts to family members and friends visiting hospitalized patients. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's uh, reveal all hidden perks. Um, so they're an alcoholic, not 
not great. These two get depressed. Um, this one, Frank Moore, he's a great knight. He's a night owl, look. So he works more efficiently at night. Um, uh, we have Spartan, needs to uh, reduce much slow. So as great as he is, I don't think I'm going to open the gift shop at night. I don't think I really see much point in it. Um, let's, I think we're going to have another, <laughs> another spin on it. Uh, look, this one moves quickly. Do you know what? I can't see really what it matters. I think we'll just go with him. I think we'll go with him. So I suppose effectively now this gift shop is technically working, um, but I would like it um, to have some more interest. I'm thinking it would be good to have a toilet in here. That's for the staff member that works here. A small office behind the scenes, perhaps, you know, where he can um, also maybe grab a snack or something so he doesn't instantly wander off to fulfill his needs you know things that means that he's more likely to stay in the shop I'm also playing with the idea of having back doors coming out here and some sort of alley uh, way coming out um, so there's sort of back entrances to the shops so I'm going to have a fiddle around with the pharmacy and see what I can come up with and here it is <gasps> Sanatucha um, yeah, here it is. So, uh, this, this is what uh, we, we've got in the end. Uh, you can see here I've got a counter by the door. Uh, it was a real shame. This is a lovely gift shop sign, but you can't actually place it outside. That would have been amazing if I could, but I can't. Um, <laughs> so, it's a bit of a shame. And you can see I've got the magazines and the clothes along the back here. Uh, and we have successfully got the staff area in and that there is a, a back exit and a toilet here for staff only and I have marked this entire area <coughs> accessible to patients uh, to staff only so the patients can't uh, and won't come back here to use the toilet and stuff like that you can see here that the common room actually bursts outside of here um, because it you can't put a common room in in this uh, small space however uh, I've been careful to place inside that zone um, things that it doesn't really need so I thought you know selling books in the store kind of makes sense right but it's not actually a thing they buy from so that being inside this area is absolutely fine I do have these balloons. I don't know if they buy these balloons, but these balloons are fine, so that works. Uh, these clothes are fine. And then, of course, we've got two magazine racks here, so one isn't accessible, the other one is. So I figured it was fine. I figured it was fine. So here we are. We can actually see it being used. Look at that. So he is buying a gift for Judy Thomas, who is uh, looking rough. Oh, this is interesting. So he actually goes and picks up the product for them. I find that weird. I find that weird. You would have thought that they'd pick up a product and go and pay for it. But they don't. Huh. That's, uh, that's going to slow down the process if I'm making him walk everywhere. Um, but there we are. I guess that's what's going to happen. Um... And if we need more staff, then we'll get rid of this sign and extend uh, this desk. I guess we'll just see how busy it gets over time. So he is on his way to see this lady. Um, and it looks like that she can't get out of bed. So he might actually be going to her bedside. Saying that, he has gone to the lounge. Look, he has used one of these ones in the corridors. Look at this. <gasps> I'm so pleased. It's looking busier down here now. Oh. No, no, he has got up and it now says visiting. I've got a feeling that she can't move um, because of the illness that she has. And sometimes they will come to the bedside. Um, I've had this a couple of times. They don't sit down. They do just stand by the bedside, which is a bit of a shame. Bit of a shame. Um, but there we are. Uh, so I guess we'll we'll wait for him to come and see and see what perk she gets. Here he comes. Look at this. Visiting Judy Thomas. You've been drinking plenty of water, Judy. Yes, I have. Stop, stop telling me how to live my life. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. <laughs> I just care is all. I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> well, I've got to go. Okay, thanks for visiting. <laughs> Right, so, um, what have we got here? 
Um, professional care, rough night. She did have a... Nothing yet. I guess we have to wait until the visit is over. There we go. He is now leaving. Yeah, got a gift. Plus one. Yay! That's lovely. I'm so pleased. There we go. So, that's working a charm. It'll be interesting to see how busy it gets um, as uh, time marches on with it. But for now, um, that is... Uh, a good start. So, um, next of all, let's build the pharmacy. I've been excited about this one. So here we are. We are decorated, sort of, at the tender beginnings of our pharmacy. So what do we need in a pharmacy? Um, three drug shelves, by the looks of it. Um, God, they, they're really cool. They are exactly the sort of thing that the pharmacist has uh, back then. And then we've also got things that can go in the shop. Hey, these are really cool, aren't they? Look, this one's quite, it's quite a big one. Um, and we also have this drug shelf as well. Hey, these are really cool. So, <clears throat> I actually really like this. Now, the only problem that we have here is, again, it works similarly uh, to this in, in that we have uh, the counter um, and the janitor sits at the counter, whereas really, it, it would be better um, and more realistic if we did have these sort of in their own office and that a doctor had to work at the back of the pharmacy uh, to actually uh, sort out the prescriptions. Because I tell you what, a janitor is not licensed to be doing that sort of stuff, I can tell you. Um, so we're going to, I'm going to try my best in the space that I have here to, to do something a little bit like that so it looks like that that's how it's working even though that's not technically how it will function and here is the pharmacy um it's not turned out exactly as i wanted it i am restricted with the uh, amount of space that i have here oh look so you can see here that we've made the toilet um public um for anybody to use i figured you know given that we're in a pharmacy um, that was probably important. I'm not going to be able to put, look, a toilet sign in there. We might have to get rid of this poster and, uh, and pop it in there. I think we might, we might do that. And you can see uh, I've gone for this uh, blue stripey thing. Um, and uh, I've done my best to suggest different things <laughs> in the space that we have. So you can see here that we do have the doctor area at the back um, with, with all of his medicine cabinets. It's not quite the layout that I wanted, but it works. Um, so that's fine. You can see as well that the counter does entirely block off this. So they can only come in um, from the back here. They do have this common room, so I'm hoping that if they get peckish or whatever, they could, they come to this staff area here. That's my hope, at least. Um, and yeah, so we've got the consultation and advice counter, and we've got the prescription drop-off. And often, as well, you have uh, places for people to uh, sit, don't you? Um, because, you know, they wait for their prescriptions and stuff. And, of course, um, the medicine at cabinets here. Uh, I was I was quite keen to have some of the smaller ones sort of do that, you know, in the middle of the shop. But the, I, ju I just don't have the space to do it just don't have the space to do it which is a bit of a shame uh so we need to employ somebody um what's good um, oh look actually it's not a janitor that's a technician isn't it it is oh well at least that's something isn't it that's that's pretty cool it's a technologist pharmacists sell medicine to your patients and ensure they get correct doses and instructions oh well that's a little bit better and i like that we've got uh space here for two although i don't know if they would need to be serving at this counter, you know, uh, or if employing somebody here would confuse patients as where to go. I honestly don't know. Um, now, I would say that this is worth opening day and night um, for sure. Uh, let's put you in the day and uh, we need somebody decent at night. David Baker will do. He will do just fine. So there it is. It is now open. And yeah, knowing this game, they probably will just walk uh, through this counter all the time. Uh, countertop is actually looking a little bit bare, isn't it? Um, it would be nice, actually, if we had some displays put on, on counters. Uh, but we don't. Uh, what I might do is uh, put a printer over here. Not that we really need one. But hey, that might be nice. And then some sort of uh, flower. Uh, oh, let's go blue. We're going blue mad. That's that's the theme of uh, this pharmacy. Although that floor looks purple, doesn't it? I swear it isn't. I swear that floor is blue. But it, it, 
it sure doesn't look like it. No, it really is. Okay, that's fine. Hmm, okay, well, I guess we'll wait for a customer. A patient! Oh, right, so he's sitting down at the chair. That was interesting. He sat down at the chair for a moment. Now he's going to the desk. Oh, I has prescription in it. Oh, somebody's, uh, somebody's colla uh, collapsing. Um, let's, uh, I'm, 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 oh, have we got, surely I've turned, I oh, know, it's just... So I noticed it was uh, Blala Pepper. Uh, I've named Blala Pepper now to be in keeping with my character in Two Point Hospital, Doctor B Pepper. Uh, I thought, <laughs> I thought, you know what? <clears throat> I should have my doctors named the same throughout all hospital games. <laughs> so there we are. Anyway, um, I'm sure we don't need to worry about that. Okay. And then she does look. She comes back here and collects the stuff. So I'm pretty sure that if we had somebody here, the the patient would never be able to talk to them. Do you know what I mean? I, I just don't. I feel like that wouldn't be able to happen. So these chairs are actually, turns out, was a really good idea and I might need to get some more chairs in, you know, maybe we could put another chair over here. Because I suspect that the pharmacy is one of those places that could get quite busy. <laughs> um, so I'm looking forward to, to seeing um, that progress. He spent 70 doubloons. It's a good amount, isn't it? God, oh, I've been looking forward to getting in um, uh, the this is annoying. Oops. Uh, the pharmacy and the gift shop for a while. Uh, I've been really, really excited for it. Uh, we'll have to consider this. We might, we might have to. I don't know if blocking up that counter. It'd probably be fine to block up that counter. It's just there for looks. Do you know what I mean? And then maybe if we do that, it doesn't matter that the posters uh, turn orange. I know they can't be used. I've only put them there for decoration. Um, I very rarely put posters um, in place to actually be used. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't really uh, do that very often. Um, I do it in waiting rooms, where uh, some of the posters will be usable. Like these ones are usable because uh, they're in the waiting room, and you'll find as well that I've always made like this one usable in the waiting room. Uh, but also the bookcase is usable, even though it's above the table, it is usable, which is great. Uh, I love how versatile that bookcase is compared to posters. Better than posters. Better than posters. Right with more chairs going in i think what i'll do God, it really does spin off to one side uh we should probably put in some sort of um small coffee table here like this this could be nice and um uh we'll put yeah that's the sort of stuff um now i normally go out of my way to not put clocks in waiting areas um because i think the longer a patient knows they've been waiting, the more irate they tend to get. Um, it's best to just sort of let them not know how long they've been there and let their minds wander. Um, <laughs> um, but I have got it here. Um, I have I have put a clock visible uh, for them here. So, yeah, I'm liking this uh, setup. What is happening? Everyone is crashing. What's 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 occurred here? Do you know what? I'm going to take control of you right now. Uh, yeah, I am. And I'm going to uh, walk you through that one, I think. Uh, yes, yeah, so. Liking this setup. I think this is uh, working for me. And uh, and we've uh, extended those chairs now, knowing that they come in, sit down for a bit, and, and that they could potentially become a queue here. And we might have to get somebody else in. I guess we'll see um, how it goes. So the last one uh, for today is this cafeteria, which, um, as you know, we've got... <laughs> multiple things we want to try and do with this space um we've got a little bit more space to work with uh, as well with this one which absolutely helps i do want again a toilet that's available for public use it's a cafe it makes sense um and probably a little kitchen area out back uh with food and that and then we will have um a mixture of things happening uh where they where they sit down and here it is is i'm honestly not sure how well this will uh, function um but it is more for show than anything else um i have only managed to get two uh lounge uh, chairs uh, in here for internal medicine which is a bit of an issue um so i might still get complaints about this one if i do uh, i will reevaluate what is going on here um but you can you can see you know what what's sort of occurring oh hello hello what's uh what 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 well, would you like would you like an IV infusion? There you go. Um, 
<laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, in terms of what it looks like here, um, we've got the cafeteria. It's actually quite a small area here, but the thing is, is that if the cafeteria comes up to these, this door or this door, then this lounge area isn't accessible for patients. So um, yeah, I I've had to sort of do this and encase the cafeteria part here, uh, which means this table isn't really in use. They've only got one table for the cafeteria. <laughs> it's going to be weird. We've got um, the faux kitchen back here, which is actually just marked as a corridor. And then of course we do have uh, the restroom here. And then it's been uh, decorated to sort of look a bit like a, a calf. Um, and uh, I've also got uh, some more windows coming around this this corner. Uh, so there it is. It's it's sort of doing its thing. It's sort of okay. Um, well, you know, I'll keep an eye on it. But loving these two so far. Uh, particularly the pharmacy. Uh, I am uh, in love with the pharmacy. Uh, something else I will need to do uh, at some point is uh, make like a little alley thing. But don't have a lot of room to work with before we uh, crash into this. Um, I've also um, made sure that the calf has like vents as well and stuff like that because uh, it would make more sense with this type of store that's down there. So I, I've even given some consideration to that as well. <laughs> um, so there we are. Um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased. I'm pretty pleased uh, with them. Um, and uh, looking forward to seeing um, how they uh, become utilised. Might keep an eye on this for a little bit. Let's see if we do get any internal um, medicine uh, patients coming in here tomorrow. See if we get any staff using uh, these table and chairs. Uh, that would be cool. Um, yeah, So, and we've made it so the gift shop is closed at night and this is open day and night kind of makes sense right okay um you've had that have you okay we have some hypertension here would you like some meds for that excellent thank you very much well evening time's coming kazar has come in for a donut so staff are definitely using it oh god it pinged around look and we can see people come to use the toilet uh we've got a member of staff coming over uh, here as well um yeah this look at this this is a hospitalised patient from internal medicine who's coming to use this toilet. Look at that. <laughs> um, look, we've got more staff using this. Nice. Okay. It's, it's, it's a promising start. This is being really well used, even at night time, uh, which is uh, really, really great. Really enjoying that. Um, it's nice and central. Um, you know, it's nice and central. Lots of foot traffic around here, so it's bound to do uh, well. Uh, for for the staff coming to uh, grab food, we are seeing patients who are coming to use these toilets. I am looking forward to visiting hours. Made a few changes. I've decided that getting some uh, lights, additional lights in here, would be nice. Um, and I've also uh, done this on the outside. Um, just just some small uh, amendments while I've been sitting here staring at it. Eight o'clock has arrived, um, and I am keen to see what this is going to look like um, during rush hour. They have been using this constantly all night. This this common room and, and all this constantly all night, the staff, they absolutely love it. They, this central location has, uh, has been uh, really, really great. Uh, an emergency also kicked off. Um, so I'm uh, dealing with that also. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, looking for, look, if we have a look here visiting hours are going to start happening um, and I'm hoping to see quite a few in the shop this time and, and I'm hoping that uh, maybe internal medicine will overflow onto these chairs um, and and I'm keen to see sort of how big the queue might get here if, if a queue forms at all. You can see here as well I have uh, done some more landscaping. We finally managed to get, it gets hidden a bit behind uh, this sky bridge but you can see here I've made a little garden uh, back here and uh, we have uh, put a path and some lighting around the back here for the staff to access uh, this area um, look at the queue that's happening in here uh, and there's like lots of fencing has gone in and, and, and whatnot look at this look at this um, I, I it's got so busy they have actually started to come in from <laughs> from the restricted access side interesting so it definitely seems as though we are going to need multiple staff here um, at very least in the day 
Uh, I think I think we can safely say, will they be able to access? Even though the chair is there, will that be okay? I do. I sure do hope so. Um, I don't think this would be any good. I don't think they would serve anyone from here. Uh, let's put in the um, stool. Um, yeah, black. That's it. And employ just one daytime uh, staff here. We don't need loads. Oh, they're quite good. Hang on a minute. Let's have a look at this guy. Okay, let's move him to day then. Yeah. And then what we will do is we will employ her at night time. That's, that's, that's what we'll do. There we go. So hopefully um, we can get... Hang on a minute. Where is... Has he got to come into work? He's now going to travel into work. That's the downside. That's the downside of changing him. Wow. <laughs> That's absolutely rammed. Uh, I like it though. I like it. Um, yeah. <laughs> if only they would sit on the bench um, outside and that. If I could mark this as like a waiting area or something. But alas, no. Well, hopefully that other guy will get to work uh, quickly. Here he comes. He's uh, coming around the back by the looks of it. <laughs> okay, so we can get uh, hopefully multiple. Will they go to him there? They don't seem to be, do they? Is it a bad location because of this chair? Possibly. So what we might do then um, is stick, move, move him along. Um, it also sort of confirms, I think, that uh, this isn't going to work. So let's try this. If he now moves... <laughs> still working on this emergency, everybody. <laughs> so if he now... Oh. Oh, selling medicine to Jennifer Barkley. Oh, oh, okay. It, this seat does work. Oh, okay. But she's come all the way around, maybe because of this chair. That's That's probably what's happening. So I'm still keen, I think to move this set up yeah and have them next to each other and hopefully they will come and stand at the counter at the front instead yes there we go so they're now able to both serve here that's great okay this lady is annoying waiting in the pharmacy not technically no <laughs> <laughs> You're in a bad place. You're a bad place, lady. I like it. I don't think with this, patients can't go here. I don't think I can do it for... Oh. Oh, I can. Okay, well, that might help prevent more in the future, I guess. Uh, would that also work around... Uh, like this countertop as well, so they don't stand... They don't stand in it. Hopefully, hopefully this will function okay. She's a little bit confused, this lady. I think this was good as well to keep this toilet public. Uh, I think that's worked quite well. Uh, we've not seen loads come into the gift shop. Uh, maybe that will pick up in a little bit uh, while we're working through the morning rush uh, in the pharmacy, <laughs> which I'm absolutely loving right now can see here look that uh, some of internal medicine are indeed uh, meeting inside the restaurant uh, I've also changed the chairs around a little bit and put in some extra chairs as well for internal medicine here um, at the shop is getting busy the gift shop I've noticed gets busy uh, towards evening time makes sense people go to work and then uh, they come and visit uh, their friends and families that might be in hostel so that's that's when it gets popular it's it's later on in the day. Um, so that's good. This is really nice. This whole row of uh, shops here is being used very well. I'm, I'm actually really, really uh, pleased with it. It's, um, it's gone really rather well. I think they look good. I'm happy with the landscaping that I've put uh, around them. Um, this hospital now has absolutely everything in it that is currently available. We know where we're going to be putting um, infectious diseases when it comes out. I'm hoping it will fit here. Um, but the, I'm pleased with the landscaping. Got a couple more gardens. To, to do but they're only like small strips 
Um, there are going to be small tweaks that I'm going to want to do as I spend more time in each department. Um, we've still got radiology to make uh, really lovely and stuff like that. Um, so there are going to be some more tweaks, but there's no more major building, just minor tweaks to uh, be had. Uh, we now can, um, I think, get uh, some more of my Patreons into the hospital. Um, and we will be spending time in different departments and getting used to the illnesses that are coming into the hospital and how best to deal with some of the really the more difficult ones that come into neurology and stuff like that as well um yeah uh, and then and then we'll be doing infectious diseases our oh, royal peeping hospital is uh, is coming along in leaps and bounds if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe thank you to all my patreons for their continued support